Okay, one more tutorial for now. This one's going to be on using and making fog. I've created a simple room with um, pretty much nothing in it, not even a light, which is a good place to start because fogs are actually nothing but a light source. It's been modified in a special way. It's very simple to do. After you have it selected, you'll notice by the purple box that it's selected, press the J key. That's like jet. Yeah. To get into the um, light editor. So from here you can change the radius. I have it set to equilateral, so it's the same on every single plane. Pretty much a cube showing where the uh, rays can go. Fall off shows the amount of fall off and light, like the attenu attenuation and numbra. Um, color is pretty damn obvious. Brightness, I haven't really gotten to work because I'm not sure why it doesn't work. So, if you were saying you were trying to use some special light source for a grill or something, you'd use one of these. Actually, the cloud scrolls do a really cool effect. Try out my last tutorial if you don't believe me. Um, these are the fog are what we're interested in because this is the fog. So, you're just going to do basic fog. And you want to select a color for your fog. So, say orange or something. Yeah, that's great. Okay. So, hit apply. Okay, and that's actually it. You can change the um, the amount of how do I say it? If you were a three D engine programming, you call it far clip and near clip. I guess you can say the amount of thickness of the fog is changed by changing the amount of um, the cube to the amount of area that the light takes up. If I change this to this, it should be a little bit more thick but you won't see as much at the same time somehow <laughs> so 300 will be there and that's pretty much all there is to that um, yeah